Hello and welcome to this very special episode of the Media Tech Podcast. We are again joined by Tiffany. How's it going? Hey, Matt. And uh, today we are going to announce another Media Tech program on this podcast. But first, I want to say two things. I want to apologize for the horrible audio in the background. Just like uh, almost every other podcast we shoot, we are in an active classroom here at Media Tech in Dallas. So there's going to be some AC going on in the background. People might walk in, whatever. Don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to what Tiffany's going to be saying here That's in a minute. That's right. And also, be sure to subscribe wherever you're listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe there. Um, on that platform, we have a lot of other videos, a lot of uh, graduate videos, some student videos, some work videos, tutorials. It's really cool. Make sure you head over there if you're uh, listening elsewhere and subscribe, hit the bell icon, you know the drill. Today, I'm gonna give Tiffany the honors of saying what we are announcing today. <gasps> So exciting. So Media Tech, we were able to get our acting program off the ground mm -hmm. in June and we're approved by ACCSC, which means we are now an accredited uh, associate degree in awesome. art for acting for media. And just a week or so ago, we were approved by the ACCSC to have a makeup program. Awesome. <laughs> so we now <laughs> offer an associate's degree in makeup, which is so exciting. And, and what that means is, so it's a... Um, an associate degree in uh, applied arts for makeup artists, makeup master makeup artistry. There you go. <laughs> yes, sorry, that's a wordful. Don't don't make me say it three times. There's like fast. three M's in that. Like <laughs> yes. So this is basically the great thing about this course is it is the most extensive, inclusive, everything you could ever want to know about makeup that you can get anywhere in the ever that's amazing just anywhere ever we'll, we'll <laughs> anywhere leave it at that. ever well i mean what's so exciting and we'll get into a little bit of this like specifics about what the program's going to touch on and stuff like that but what's exciting to me is that just the idea of that is not only will the makeup students have access to like the film department and what they're doing and all of that and you know maybe some music videos with the audio department and all that but specifically like with the acting i think it's called technically acting for media right that like, is correct i assume that there's going to be a little bit of like make obviously makeup but makeup for media is that kind of where it's headed? Right. So uh, we are going to start you off from the very beginning in the basics courses. You're going to learn the fundamentals of, of makeup. You're going to learn beauty makeup. You're going to learn how to do makeup for live events, mm. bridal, that type of thing. But the lanyard to our course that you don't get anywhere else is that our students are in front of the camera the very first semester they're in school. <laughs> and it's great to just be like, hey, I need a makeup artist. <laughs> I'm going to be on camera because, you know, the work that they shoot goes on their acting reel for when they graduate. Ah. So if they've got a professional makeup artist right around the corner at the school at all times, this is really going to help them look good on camera and get our makeup artists started the first semester that they're here as well, working on their makeup reel and their career <laughs> for becoming a professional. Absolutely. And I mean, like uh, as a film grad of Media Tech from a few years ago, we were always looking for makeup artists and stuff. And that was tough. I mean, in the, I think it's the same in the last uh, semester um, of when I went to school, which again was a while ago, so it's different. But we made a um, a, sh a short film. It was like thirty minutes long, um, mm -hmm. and I remember posting the Craigslist ad looking for a makeup artist. <laughs> and the great thing about having a makeup program here is because makeup artist day rates. They're expensive. <laughs> you can make a really good living as a makeup artist, especially in Dallas, Texas, with all the industrials and all the big um, production that's coming our way. Mm -hmm. um, so it's important that we get these kids in doing stuff now and the film students will have access to them and so will the actors for their headshots for anything that they need yeah. to be doing. I mean, it's just a win-win for everybody. So we're super excited about it. Um, the thing is, is when I was coming up the program, I did research on all the other makeup programs. And I'll be honest with you, when I graduated from the University of North Texas with my acting degree, I ran the makeup program there. Oh, cool. I was able to design all of the operas, all of the theater productions. I won so many awards. Um, I was the in-house makeup artist for all of the in-house videos that um, University of North Texas um, did. And when I graduated, upon graduating, I had um, a mentor of mine sit me down and go, look, you're a really talented actress. I think you're going to be great at that if that's what you want to do. But you're also a really good designer and you are going to have to pick mm. what you really want to go into. 
So I went to Los Angeles. I dressed up in a business suit and I went with my (laughs) assistant at the time. And we went down there and we interviewed Joe Blasco and makeup designer. And we went to all the big L.A. studio Hollywood makeup places. And then, of course, we know the story. I came back to Dallas and I got cast (laughs) on Dragon Ball Z and was, um, you know, trapped in Dallas for 10 years. (laughs) So I never made made it to that makeup school, but I've researched all of them. And in order to come up with a curriculum that really reflects the industry that we have here in Dallas and includes all those things that, you know, even if, uh, I don't want to talk about pricing or anything, but even if our programs were the same as their programs, like mm-hmm. uh, financially, yeah. the cost of living in Los Angeles oh or gosh. New York <laughs> is insane. Absolutely. So you don't have to travel to one coast or the other anymore in order to get this makeup education. And one of the other things we do at Media Tech when we're coming up with coursework is we sit down with what's called a production advisory committee Mm -hmm. or program advisory committee. And they're made up of industry professionals and we bring them in, we go over what we're wanting to teach, we get feedback from them, we we figure out if we're, you know, hey, y'all are doing a great job (laughs) or, oh man, you, you're you know you're not even close. Uh, but when we sat down with this particular PAC um, group, and we've got amazing PAC members that have been in the industry since Walker Texas Ranger. They've been doing this for like thirty years, and to hear them light up and go, "Oh my gosh, I wish somebody was here to teach me this when I was getting the bumps and bruises going through the makeup industry here in Dallas." Oh, yeah. So this is really huge. For media tech and for Dallas especially so absolutely and I mean I, I keep wanting to stress that as a film grad I just think that's so cool that not only will the film grads have access to actors and, and makeup artists but vice versa you know that's going to be amazing to do headshots and, and uh, you know and a lot of it is like learning how to you may have gone through here and maybe used a makeup artist once or twice but mm-hmm. have you really sat down and communicated with a makeup exactly. artist the students are going to really know how to deal with their peers mm-hmm. and uh, the great thing about us too is that we're, you know, they've got business classes on how to get into the business of makeup. That's so cool. <laughs> how to do your marketing, how to do your social media. Um, if you want to become an influencer, you're going to have camera equipment and podcasts and all of those things right at your fingertips so that, you know, maybe you don't want to be an on set camera movie mm-hmm. makeup artist. You can take a salon techniques class and learn how to do microblading and permanent makeup tattooing. Mm -hmm. Who offers that? (laughs) You're going to be able to take a body painting class. You're going to, we're going to have the monster creature makeup. We're going to have so many hair classes about ventilating and creating (laughs) mustaches and sideburns and fronting wigs. And, um, it's just so comprehensive and I'm really proud of it. And I have to give some credit to Donatella, the makeup maven who brought it to Tracy's attention Mm. that, MediaTek really needed a makeup program. Mm-hmm. And she's been a working professional and she's just always out doing something really special. <laughs> so um, with my producing background and and my working already with the acting program and writing curriculum and things like that, it was just a natural fit for me to take something that I'm so passionate about and also create a program uh, for media tech on this subject as well. That's awesome. I mean, it's great that the, the program has someone so passionate leading it. That's really cool. I know. Uh, I love it. <laughs> so let's get into the the, the details about um, about what students are going to learn sort of semester by semester. So Sure. So um, when they come in first, let's say very first day, have you figured that out yet? <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't matter if you have ever been to a makeup counter if you are just trying to learn like if this is just oh let's see what that has to (laughs) offer um the first class that you're going to be taking is a fundamentals of makeup this is going to teach you everything about safety precautions sanitization before you actually even pick up a makeup brush or any of those things this is really just an education course about what you're going to be learning during the program um, and the fundamentals of makeup Maybe a little history of makeup, like, you know, why do we wear makeup? Mm. What is the point of makeup? All Mm -hmm. of those things are going to be discussed in the fundamentals class. Then we move on to an intro of beauty. Um, People just think, oh, that YouTube video of, you know, yada, 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 doing that, (laughs) which is true. And I learn a lot from those two, man. Those guys are really great. And it's, it's great to be able to work on such a small, you know, format. 
But Intro to Beauty talks about what is beauty? Mm. Like, what is beauty through the period of time? Like, every time period in the 20s, there was a completely different style of eye makeup than there is today. And then also, like, what are we looking forward in the future? We use green screens now, like to, like nobody's business. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, if you come in with spiral curls on a green screen, you're going to need to know how to tone that down so that everything will key properly and you don't have huge holes like around the head of your of your character. So um, the uh, intro to beauty class is really going to talk about what makes beauty. How do we find symmetrical being the thing that's beautiful? And how can we take all of our faces are slightly off, right? Mm. How can we fix it to make it the most aesthetically ah. pleasing for the camera or for the stage? And, you know, each... Um, you know, for, for opera, it was really great that I was able to start really big where you have to just really pile it on and do really heavy makeups. And then to be intimate with a camera after working with an audience of, you know, a couple thousand people or whatever, hundreds of people, and then really whittling it down from live theater to like on camera close ups. When we moved from the format of a um, of video to HD, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was called in to the Fox News team and I had to redo all of the anchors makeup, not because they they didn't look like or they weren't doing it right, but because when you switch from that format to I can see every pore on your skin, <laughs> it also kind of becomes a, a matter of like you know, skincare, you know, I had a, a weather guy that was like, Oh man, I have to get up this early in the morning. I'm like, maybe go to bed a little bit earlier because on oh. HD that's going to read. And it's really hard if you don't have a professional makeup artist doing your makeup every day for you as a human being to try to fix that yourself. I would have never <laughs> thought about that. That's so interesting. Right. Everything changes when you change from format, the, mm -hmm. the lighting changes, the color tones change all this. Now, a lot of those things are fixable on the camera these days, which back in the day it did not. <laughs> and back in the day when we worked on real film and time was money and every time if makeup wasn't right and they were spending money to have a makeup problem fixed, <laughs> you did not want to be that girl on set. <laughs> Um, so moving on from there, Hairstyling 101, which is just basically everything from a pretty camera look to a camera look for um, headshots, any of those things. We don't really get into the technical crazy um, updos and, and bridal and such mm -hmm. until the advanced course. Um, but in Hairstyling 101 or the basic styling class, you're going to learn how to work with different te textures of hair. You're going to learn about different products. You're going to learn about... Um, things to look out for when dealing with people's hair. You know, it's all, uh, we do everything but cut and color in that class. Gotcha. So that's why we don't need a cosmetology licensed program, oh. which is huge. You know, a lot of times you go to beauty school and you have to do pedicures and fingernails for however long just to get your hours in in order to get your cosmetology license. Or you have to cut and color for so many hours or you have to, not here. We don't require you to cut and color. Um, if that's something you do on your own, <laughs> uh, but you're going to learn how to style hair for sure. Mm -hmm. And that's something you can do uh, anywhere without a license. Uh, the next class we have is makeup design. So I love the design class because mm -hmm. that's all what I'm about. I love designing makeup, whether it's reading a script and coming up with a concept for a oh. character. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this is where you also learn your rendering skills. Uh, a lot of makeup artists you'll see, you'll go into a, a makeup counter and they'll have just a generic, you know, and here's where you put the colors oh, and yeah. it's kind of a map of the face. Here, we're, we're gonna teach you how to make your own map for your own either wow. specific model that you're or, or client that you're working with, or if you're doing a, a stage play or something, you're gonna create a, uh, a rendering of each character in the play so that when you hand your work off to another makeup artist, they're going to be able to um, replicate what you've oh. created as far as design. This also keeps the design consistent. Um, so that's just a uh, part of, of what the makeup design class I've is going to go over. I've always wondered how that goes. Because I mean, I can, I've always thought, I'm a huge Trekkie. I've always thought of how difficult that must be to make the- The same, every yeah, day. Yeah, it's insane. Because they never shoot that whole thing in one afternoon. Yeah, you know? like, like they're somebody... coming back for a while. <laughs> That's crazy. And it's got to look the same. <laughs> you also learn how to keep your, um, your lookbook going, which means you're taking pictures of all different angles. You're going to learn how to photograph your talents so that you can re recreate those amazing designs that the designers come up with. 
Um, the other thing that we're offering, which I'm super excited about, which is not offered anywhere, is a salon techniques class. Oh. So maybe you get to your last stage in makeup and you're like, oh gosh, it's going to take me a while to get my foot in the door and I'm going to have to imprint us under somebody or whatever your whatever story you're telling someone, which is <laughs> not always accurate, the stories we tell ourselves. But this salon techniques class, you'll be able to work in a salon without going through that cosmetology course. We're going to oh, be wow. teaching microblading, which is you could be an entrepreneur. And a lot of people do that from their home. If you've got small children at home and you just need to have a little office where you can um, have, create your own business and your own time schedule, this is really great for that. That's awesome. Um, we also are gonna talk about the salon experience. Like when you come in from the minute you walk into a salon, you know, how do you interact with the client? How do you keep the client interested in coming back for other services? Um, really making the client feel at home. Um, we may even um, look at some different software on how to um, book clients and keep a client oh, book, that's really that cool. type of thing. Um, permanent makeup, that, those are things that can be done in a salon. Also, spray tan. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Our students get, you know, real quick, you know, if you learn the techniques on how to spray tan, it's a very lucrative business. For sure. And especially in Dallas, there's a lot of vanity in Dallas and people want to look good. <laughs> Um, that's a, so those are the, some of the salon techniques. I'm sure we'll get into some other things. Um, but that is just something that's really unique to our yeah, program really that cool. I'm real excited about. And, you know, because we offer, we work with the Texas Workforce Commission and we, you know, try to get our students work immediately while they're in school and a career when they're out of school. Mm -hmm. This is something you could probably start doing immediately while you're taking your media tech <laughs> makeup classes. Let's that's go a get a job idea. in a salon, which helps you pay for your school. So uh, the second semester we get into. Wait a second, that was all the first semester. That's that was amazing. first semester. My mind is spinning. I'm like learning so much just to right. talk about these these techniques and, and this is where you either learn this is for me or maybe i should move to the acting program because i think i could be on camera instead of behind the camera because we're not going to let you go anywhere once you've got your foot in the door we're going to find a program for you um the second semester is when we start introducing the gen eds which is also great because this is a place where you can get an associate's degree and something that you are learning about or that you're madly in love with and then these credits transfer into a four-year university yeah. if that's what you feel like you need to do. Mm -hmm. But this is a great starter place and getting all that experience and all your reels together before you even graduate is going to be like just a bonus. For sure. Absolutely. So we start with our gen eds in the next um, semester. But what we also offer that I haven't seen offered anywhere that I've been researching <laughs> that I'm really proud of is we have a digital makeup class. Digital makeup. Explain. So, uh, so you've got a client that you're doing a wedding and they um, live in two hours away. And, you know, typically before a wedding, I like to get together with my bride and do kind of a mock run through or a trial run. Yeah. Um, you never want to show up the day of a wedding and be like, <laughs> hey, hope you like Bozo the Clown because I got lots of reds in my palette. You know, you really want to make sure that the bride is comfortable on that day because they're going to have in-laws to worry about and the flower girl who's dress won't zip or whatever. The last thing they want to do is worry about what they look like. Yeah. Um, and and so making them feel really comfortable or any client that you work with. So this will give you the opportunity to have them send a picture of themselves and you can actually do their makeup design using some software wow. that we're going to be working with. Now I've shopped several different software, so I don't want to announce which one we're going <laughs> with yet. Um, but I will say that this is going to be an awesome class that will give everybody the leg up. You'll also be able to learn how to edit some of your photos after you've done a makeup job. If you need to clean something up for your portfolio, wow. this is this digital makeup design class is going to be great for that. I, again, I'm learning some. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, there's so much technology. And when we talk about being media tech, yeah. we want our students to graduate being media techs, which mean, means we want them to um, have some technical skills sure. when they get out. And whatever is the latest and greatest out there <laughs> on the market, like I'm already really excited about going and doing um, uh, a field trip to one of the uh, makeup retail places oh, that have yeah. what's called the smart mirror where you look in and it analyzes your face and Holy gives you crap. all of the technology to like skin like balance your skin tones and things like that that's just out in the the field somewhere yeah like, wow. uh, one of it's one of the big like sephora i think maybe has the smart mirrors or whatever but i've actually met one of the guys that um 
was working in the same lab while that was being created. Wow. <laughs> so I'm trying to get in touch with the guy that created it who's based out of Dallas and see if we can actually get one for the school. That's cool. That would be super awesome too. But, you know, the students are at least going to learn how to use it. So if they do <laughs> want to go to Sephora or whatever and get a job, they're already going to have that hands-on technology where they've used that yeah. software before. That's really cool. Yeah. And I apologize to anybody listening. I, I obviously know. 0.01% about <laughs> I feel like I'm just things. diarrhea of the mouth <laughs> no. there's all the things and I'm like here just my mind's spinning it's so exciting let's continue <laughs> um, okay so then we have an advanced hairstyling class and a little bit of my background um, I've been doing makeup for I've done all avenues uh, film and things uh, but one of the exciting things I got to do was um, I was working on a feature film and one of the makeup artists got a call from Broadway and she wasn't able to do it because she had kids and family coming in. And she was like, last minute, she's like, I know you've worked with wigs. I know you've worked, you know, you've gotten wigs from Rick Geyer of the LA Opera. A lot of my mentors have gone through the LA Opera and they now work on all the big LA Hollywood shows. I've got another girlfriend um, who actually tours with Broadway shows oh, wow. for the wig department. <laughs> so in 2003, I was very fortunate to be able to just hop on a plane and go to work <laughs> backstage on a Broadway show that's cool and it was called moving out it was the billy joel musical wow. so i'm standing backstage with my wig and i look over and i'm like you're billy joel <laughs> and he's like yeah and of all the things that i could come up to say to <laughs> this man that i admire who's you know created the show that i can work backstage on his show and all i could say to him was you're Billy Joel. <laughs> and he shakes my hand and I'm just still like, you're Billy Joel. And he's like, yep. And then he walks out from the backstage area about to where that camera is. And he played uh, Uptown Girl, New York State of Mind, and Piano Man. That must have been the coolest moment so of your life. That's so is, awesome. I can't even tell you. I just was in tears back there <laughs> because I was just like, could not believe this was happening. I didn't have my phone. I didn't take any pictures. It was just a moment in time for me. But these are the kind of experiences when you get into the line of work that we do here at Media Tech, whether it's interviewing a famous celebrity mm -hmm. or, you know, doing makeup, touching the skin of somebody famous. My gosh, I'll <laughs> never forget the first time I did that. I was a nervous wreck. That sounds horrible. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you, you're going to learn to feel comfortable in your environment here because you're going to be working in the setting as a professional the minute you get your foot in the door. For sure. I mean, that's a great that's a great point. I mean, that, the, the places that any career and that that means you take teaches um and the places that those bring you like is so surprising sometimes yeah. it's it's insane so uh the hairstyling course that we're going to be teaching you uh the advanced hairstyling this is when we really start dealing with wigs mm -hmm. and um hairstyles period styles there's an amazing book that we use a, as a resource called the course and book of hair and it is uh it has hairstyles starting from the very beginning of time all the way through to modern day and you learn about, uh, when it, we're talking about creating character, the different socioeconomical hairstyles for oh. people back that were peasants or the people that were an aristocracy. Like uh, anything historical that you need to know about a hairdo, you're going to learn <laughs> uh, in this class. And then we also touch on, you know, ventilation. And ventilation is the art of actually weaving hair into um, a net. Oh, yeah. So you can either make full on wigs or you can front wigs. You need to buy a wig, you know, when you buy a wig. Oh, yeah. All the wigs that I bought. All yeah. the wigs that you've bought. <laughs> they always come with this real hard line in the front and it mm. doesn't look natural and all, at all. So but what we can teach our students is how to like soften up that front line oh, so cool. it looks like a lace front wig. So it could be used for beauty, not just for stage or theater or any of those things. Um, and that's what they're going to learn in the hairstyling that's class. That's really neat. <laughs> we're, we're almost done, but there's so much more to go. We're so in semester two still. This right? is the second semester. Sem yeah. So you're also we're also going to pepper in some of those um, um, classes like intro to psychology, um, English composition, speech class. Like any of those classes are going to be peppered in depending on what semester you come to class to school with us. So the, in the second semester, this is another one of my very favorite classes <laughs> that is so exciting and I haven't seen it anywhere in the state of Texas is the body painting class. Ooh, that's going to be fun. So um, now everybody automatically thinks naked people. <laughs> ah, we're going to start you off real slow. We're going to start with face painting. You can immediately start face painting for, you know, 
kids' birthday parties uh-huh. um, or any events that, you know, car- uh, carnivals or Six Flags even hires makeup artists right out the, you know, right out yeah. the gate. They give you the designs, you know how to use it, boom, you got a job. Um, but also, uh, one of the guys that's on our PAC committee is a man named Craig Tracy. And if any of you have seen the show Skin Wars on Netflix. My wife loves that show. <laughs> Craig Tracy is the small lack of hair guy, not RuPaul. He's the other one, the complete opposite, the shorter, whiter <laughs> version of RuPaul. Um, he's one of the judges on Skin Wars, and wow. he is a phone call away. He's one of my dear friends from New Orleans, Louisiana, and he, um, my husband worked at his art gallery. I've been painted by him twice personally. <laughs> and um, so we just so that you know that even though we're training the skill here, we have the best of the best that are looking down on us and gracing this program. So cool. And we've got professional advice just a phone call away That's from really people cool. that, that are the best at their <laughs> the best. We're not even talking this guy was the world champion. He he now judges the world championship body painting contest in Edinburgh every year. That's so amazing. Um, so that's another program that I'm really excited about. And you're going to learn how to use airbrushing techniques, um, all the things, uh, the different products. And, you know, they have these amazing contests all over the world that um, where they judge people's art. Yeah. And uh, I encourage you all to watch Skin Wars on Netflix. It's a great show. And, and check it out because we're going to be teaching that here at our <laughs> school. And I think we might even have our own Skin Wars program using our film oh. students where they can, we can have our own competition show. <laughs> These are just brainstorming ideas. It's y'all a great come, idea. <laughs> come to school here and make that happen. <laughs> awesome. So uh, semester three or still semester two? This is That was semester two. Semester three is when we really get into the media bunch of it all. Mm-hmm. You've already gotten all your fundamentals. We've learned the basics. We've learned all the color correcting, the beauty, the live event type stuff, bridal makeup. This is where it gets really heavy. We start with a prosthetics class. Wow. And the prosthetics class is all about cuts and burns. Did Mm -hmm. you know that there's an actual profession out there called uh, moulage, which is the art of making distress? And (laughs) um, so what happens is the fire department, they maybe are trying to train some new firefighters on how to (laughs) deal, or EMTs on how to deal with different... um, lacerations, burns, all that type of stuff. So, or car accidents. Mm -hmm. How do you interview a patient? How do you, so the art of moulage Uh. is you really will destroy someone and make them look like they've been in a terrible, awful car wreck. And then the firefighters or the EMTs come out and they learn how to deal with their patients. There's actually a job track for that. Wow, I had no idea. Oh yeah, but we're (laughs) gonna be doing like scrapes and burns, you know, uh, bloody, bloody noses, Eyes, you're going to learn how to use the uh, the latex, and you're going to learn how to use putty wax and, and prosade and all of the things and how to do art on top of those different textures that aren't actually skin. Wow. I imagine if the, if the teachers are anything like what I had a few years ago, there's going to be a lot of pranks going on from oh. that class. <laughs> I taught a workshop once that, that was for younger kids, and I walked in and I had kind of a fake nose on. And it was just, it just looked enough like my real nose, but I had just enough. And we were talking about character and I was mentioning how, you know, Michael Myers, King Comedy, right? (laughs) In every movie, what's the one thing that he changes up? And everybody was like, his teeth. And I was like, yes, that's good. His hair. Yes, that's good. And then I said, well, what about, and I pulled my nose off Uh. (laughs) and I thought these kids were going to lose it. They were just like, oh my goodness, your nose. Yeah. So I was like, I really played a case of, I got your nose. (laughs) That's awesome. (laughs) So that's what you're going to be learning in the prosthetics class. Then we have um, film appreciation, makeup for media. And this is also taking all those things that you learn that you do real big and breaking it down so it looks real enough to do on camera. Mm. Because we can all go really big, but how do we bring it down and make it look really realistic without making it look overdone? Yeah. Uh, And that's pretty self-explanatory. Then we have a business of makeup class. It's going to teach you how to do all your branding and your marketing and get all your um, stuff together. Special effects design, you're going to make a creature. That's so cool. You're going to (laughs) take all that stuff you learn in the prosthetics class and you're gonna do an actual creature makeup based on research, foam, foam low tech, fa- foam 
latex <laughs> and all the big bi- building the cows. So if you've seen Face Off, it's yeah, that kind another of thing one of too. my wife's favorite shows. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna I'm trying to wrap it up. It's For just sure. so much information. No, it's, it's awesome. Um, so the last semester, this is really exciting. You've got all these skills now, right? You could you can do everything from a live beauty makeup to a full monster creature makeup. Now you get to make a movie. Wow. <laughs> with the film students. Every student submits a script and then they choose a script and then they're gonna need makeup artists to come in and work oh. on their movie that they um, do set up and we have the red carpet event and have everybody come out and check out the student film for that semester. You're gonna learn every aspect of production which is real important for students because from the production meeting, from the first um, script read, all the way through to um, you know the final product and it coming out and being premiered on that red carpet, you get to experience all of that. That's so cool. And that is what we really, this that's what we're really about is like having the students come here and and be in the environment that they hope to work in when they graduate from yeah, us. Yeah, absolutely. And that's so exciting from a, the film student perspective too. That, yeah. That, that that's automatically woven together like that. Yeah. That's awesome. So cool. So sixty weeks, right? Yep. Sixty weeks. Awesome. And that's so forced. That's like a year and a half, and you yeah. have a career already. I know, and that gets like I'm still thinking it's overwhelming. It's so it's thorough. So, yeah. It's so thorough, and I mean. I don't know. I'm just, I can't wait for that first graduating class. I'm going to be a puddle on the floor because <laughs> this was a lot of work and a lot of research. And How a long lot has of, it been? Um, I, so we came in, we started working. I started working on the makeup program or the acting program in December. I took over some things were already kind of brewing. They already had, but for this, I mean, I guess November, December, I really just started researching and just kind of coming up with a, and to build a program, it's, it's, Seems like it would be easy, but it's got to fit together with everything else that we've got going on in the school. Yeah. So it's just been a labor of love, and um, we're just really excited to have it as an offering here Sweet. at MediaTek. I'm excited. That. That's so exciting. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for for being on the, the Thanks podcast. Thanks for letting again. me diarrhea vomit. No, all of don't my- say that. No, I'm serious. <laughs> that was great, honestly. Um, I'm, my head, like I said, my head is spinning. I, I knew it was going to be in depth, but it's so exciting just to hear line by line what all the things the students are going to learn. Yes, we're um, very thrilled to have it. And uh, on to close out, is there anything that you might say to someone that is interested that in makeup but doesn't quite know? Absolutely. You know? Come take a tour of the school. Have a sit down chat with me. I can tell you stories. We can, you know, really look at what what branch you want to go into because there's just so many opportunities. Whether you want to be a brand ambassador for a huge makeup line mm-hmm. or you want to be an influencer and have your own thing going or if you want to do spray tans and just work in a salon or if you want to be an you know, a makeup, a movie, you know, makeup artist, or if you want to work backstage and tour doing wigs <laughs> on a Broadway show, all of those things are available. Awesome. Uh, the possibilities are endless, but just get get your foot in the door, come take a tour of the school and let's chat. Absolutely. There are uh, media tech campuses in Dallas and Houston, by the way, if you didn't know. And uh, like this she one said, is currently being offered in Dallas. In Dallas, correct. We're working on it for yeah. Houston. <laughs> but if you're interested in any of the programs, uh, digital film, uh, recording arts, etc., feel free to call up the school anytime and uh, schedule a tour, tour. They'll be more than happy to walk you around. And once you step foot in here at really at either campus, you're just, your jaw is going to hit the floor about how awesome these are. Um, so again, uh, visit mediatech.edu if you're interested. And uh, please subscribe. Hit that bell icon and thank you so much for listening and we'll see you again next week with another podcast thanks matt thank you so much